Hello everyone, this video is about the signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism, or low thyroid function. To better understand why signs and symptoms occur in hypothyroidism, let's first discuss what hypothyroidism is and what thyroid hormones actually do. The thyroid gland, a butterfly-shaped gland in your neck, is the source of two vital hormones called thyroid hormones, thyroxine, also known as T4, and triodothyronine, also known as T3. These two thyroid hormones are vital to our bodies, and it's crucial to remember that thyroxine can be converted into triodothyronine, a more active thyroid hormone. Therefore, the following are some of the rules that these two thyroid hormones play. The reason I use these particular terms is that they can help us remember what the thyroid hormones do. The thyroid hormones are involved in the three NMs, in for movement, in fermentation, and in for metabolism. You can think of the thyroid hormones activating each of these thyroid hormones. Increased mentation, movement, metabolism, and thought processing. As a result, if we have low thyroid hormone levels, as we do in hypothyroidism, we will experience low mentation, movement, and metabolism. This will help us remember the symptoms and signs of hypothyroidism. What are some symptoms and signs of hypothyroidism? The first one I'll discuss here is cold sensitivity, which is actually one of the most common symptoms. Hypothyroidism can cause cold sensitivities because, as we previously discussed, thyroid hormones are involved in increasing metabolism. Therefore, if we have low thyroid hormone levels or low thyroid function, we'll have a lower metabolism, which will lower our core body temperature and cause problems with cold sensitivity. Reduced appetite is another sign of hypothyroidism, and this is also caused by a slowed metabolism. We will also experience constipation because of decreased bowel functioning, which is also related to decreased metabolism. If an individual has a decreased appetite, they frequently experience decreased bowel movements and bowel functioning. We can also conceptualize this as a movement issue because there will be less movement, which you can think of as movement within the gastrointestinal tract or GI tract. As a result, we will experience constipation in hypothyroidism, and even though they may not be eating as much as they used to, they may actually gain weight. Additionally, weight gain, which is often mild to modest, is a symptom of hypothyroidism and is caused by a lowered metabolism, which also increases cold sensitivity. One of the most prevalent symptoms is decreased hunger, which is often multi-moderate and associated with constipation and weight gain. Many of these symptoms are caused by impaired metabolic activity. Depression is another sign of hypothyroidism. Thyroid hormones are involved in controlling and increasing mentation or cognition, which is why this is typically caused by decreased or slowed mentation. We have discussed this before. Weariness is another sign of hypothyroidism. This phenomenon is actually rather prevalent and may be associated with a slowed down mental process a sluggish metabolism, or secondary depression. Another sign of hypothyroidism is a difficulty focusing. Thus, if thyroid hormones are thought to regulate or enhance mentation or cognition, then it stands to reason that low thyroid hormone levels would result in decreased concentration and decreased cognition. Low thyroid hormone levels can also be the cause of depression and fatigue, which are also brought on by low thyroid hormone functioning. Finally, decreased memory is another symptom of hypothyroidism. And once more, this may be the result of or a byproduct of depression tiredness, diminished cognition, or decreased mentation. Accordingly, we may see diminished mentation, one of the three NMs we previously discussed, as a result of low thyroid hormone levels, reduced focus and memory, other symptoms of hypothyroidism include dry, scaly skin, which is actually caused by decreased secretion from the acridin gland. Although the exact cause of this is unknown, hypothyroidism is known to cause decreased secretion from the echoing gland, which can result in dry, scaly skin. Hair loss is another indication of hypothyroidism. Thus, hypothyroidism can cause both increased hair loss and reduced hair growth. Additionally, 
Brittle nails or cracked, chipped nails are another symptom of hypothyroidism that is caused by generally decreased nail growth. Recall that other symptoms of hypothyroidism include dry, scaly skin, hair loss, and brittle nails. We can also see concerns with muscular aches and cramps in hypothyroidism. We can see joint pain or arthralgias in hypothyroidism. And we can also see weakness, so not being able to move items that you may have been able to lift before. This is just a generalized weakness. And since we discussed how thyroid hormones affect movement, we can see that weakness is occurring when thyroid hormone levels are low. We can also see delayed deep tendon reflexes, which is a clinical sign. When a clinician taps the patellar tendon with a reflex hammer to check the patellar reflex, the lag will jerk out, but there will be a delay in relaxation after that initial response. This is what a delayed deep tendon reflex is, and it's actually fairly common in people with hypothyroidism. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make so. If you enjoyed them, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow that said back to the video. Again, the mnemonic we used earlier may help you remember some of these. Thyroid hormones are involved in enhancing or regulating movement, so you can understand how problems with muscular cramping arise. Up to 75% of patients may experience this response. Weakened joints and postponed deep tendon reflexes. Other symptoms of hypothyroidism include paresthesia, which is characterized by numbness, tingling, and pain, usually in the hands and feet or in the extremities. Chronic hypothyroidism, or long-term hypothyroidism, causes a fluid buildup that damages or injures nerves, which is why we experience these sensations. Additionally, carpal tunnel syndrome has been observed with hypothyroidism. This results from compression or injury to the median nerve in the wrist, and we observe numbness and tingling sensations in specific hand regions. These include the thumb, index finger, middle finger, and half of the ring finger, with the pinky and other half of the ring finger spared. This is the classic pattern of carpal tunnel syndrome. Additionally, we observe paresthesia, numbness, and tingling sensations in various body regions, which is frequently caused by long-term chronic hypothyroidism. Finally, we witness the occurrence of carpal tunnel syndrome. When we observe that specific pattern of involvement in which we have numbness and tingling in specific hand fingers, which is caused by compression or damage to the median nerve, Additionally, we can observe renal impairment or problems with kidney functioning in hypothyroidism. Thyroid hormones have been found to affect the blood vessels in the kidneys, changing the blood flow to the kidneys. As a result, problems with kidney function can also be observed, along with peripheral edema in hypothyroidism. This type of edema, which is non-pitting and caused by hypothyroidism, is referred to as mixed edema. Garden of Life Women's Multivitamin, the essential nutrient boost for active women. Active women need a multivitamin that can keep up with their busy lifestyle, and Garden of Life delivers. Our women's multivitamin is formulated to support you during your reproductive years with 100% daily value of 17 key vitamins and minerals, including vitamin A, C, D, K, and B complex. We've added essential nutrients like glutathione, boron, vanadium, and CoQ10 to help you feel energized and balanced every day. Whole body wellness with probiotics. This multivitamin does more than cover your basic nutrient needs. It supports breast, heart, and reproductive health, while also providing an energy boost to keep you going strong. The addition of 23 powdered, organically grown raw fruits and vegetables offers extra antioxidants and nutrients. Making this formula more than just a typical vitamin, it's a powerhouse for your entire body. Packed with probiotics and digestive enzymes, gut health is key to nutrient absorption, and we've included raw probiotics like L. bouldericus and L. plantarum to support a healthy digestive system. Along with a mix of powerful digestive enzymes, lipase, protease, bromelain, lactase, and papain.
This multivitamin ensures your body is breaking down and absorbing nutrients efficiently. Clean, high-quality nutrition you can trust. At Garden of Life, we're committed to quality. Our multivitamin is third-party certified non-GMO, gluten-free, and kosher. It's also raw, meaning we avoid using high heat, synthetic binders, fillers, or artificial ingredients. You can trust that every capsule is packed with pure, whole food nutrients. Click the link below to learn more and start boosting your health today. Thus, if you were to press your finger into the edema or the swollen area on your extremities, we see this especially in the legs, what would happen? Thus, pushing on this kind of edema does not result in a pit or an area of compression, unlike pushing on edema, which would cause an outline of the area once your finger was lifted off of it. This is the difference. Additionally, peripheral edema and renal impairment are indicators of hypothyroidism, and goiter problems can also be observed. So goiter is an enlarged thyroid gland. In some cases of hypothyroidism, we can see goiter occurring. An enlarged thyroid gland causes swelling of the front of the neck, which can actually compress or press on vocal cords and cause a hoarse voice. In other cases, we can also see a very swollen neck in these individuals. This is commonly caused by the enlargement of the thyroid gland, where it actually starts to compress vocal cords. Thus, we can observe that these also occur in hypothyroidism. Bradycardia, or a slowed heart rate, is one of the other hypothyroidism symptoms. Consequently, a normal heart rate ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute. While hypothyroidism causes a heart rate that is slower and less than 60 beats per minute. In hypothyroidism, we can also observe decreased libido and changes in menstruation, including oligomenorrhea and amenorrhea. In oligomenorrhea, the period lengthens and we begin to experience cycles longer than 35 days. All of these symptoms, which include a slow heart rate in hypothyroidism or bradycardia that beats at a pace slower than normal, can be related to low metabolism. For example, we may notice fewer periods occurring throughout the year and amenorrhea, which is when there are no periods at all. We may also notice changes in menstruation, which are typically longer or absent altogether. These symptoms are caused by hormonal effects that I won't discuss in this session. Nonetheless, it may result in amenorrhea and oligomenorrhea. As we've explored today, understanding the signs of low thyroid levels or hypothyroidism is key to managing this condition effectively. From fatigue and weight gain to hair loss and depression, these symptoms can have a significant impact on your daily life. It's important to recognize these early signs so you can seek the appropriate medical advice and start managing your thyroid health. Knowing why these symptoms occur due to insufficient hormone production by the thyroid gland helps us realize the vital role this small gland plays in maintaining our body's overall balance. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms or do you think someone you know might be, don't hesitate to consult a healthcare professional. Early detection and treatment can make all the difference in maintaining your health and well being. Hypothyroidism is manageable with the right approach, including medication and lifestyle changes. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who might benefit from learning about these important health signs. And don't forget to subscribe to Health Angel Solutions for more videos on maintaining a healthy lifestyle and staying informed about your health. We're here to help you stay empowered with knowledge, so make sure to turn on notifications for future content. Stay healthy and take care.